it's teeth and turbos and i'm about to fire this thing up for the first time <laughs> He does have some new meats on there and mine are uh well they're not great but they're getting definitely getting close so we have a big ratchet strap we're just going to tie them together and see what happens am i i'll be in the grass and you're on the concrete <laughs> just tie it a knot around my truck no just tie it like a i don't know how to do that. here give me a that. double windsor here yeah do a double windsor knot just tie the noose knot the noose knot <laughs> Double back. Once through. Uh, All right. Your balls. I mean your balls. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Drag it over. first time I knew we should have called it quits after the first one but uh, he got some pro tips from JH and ended up dragging me two more times but hey we had some fun let's see how much dreads left on these things I would say we're getting pretty close probably like four millimeters left in there what do you think 
Bow, you know, bow. you know the guy that can get his tires. Sure do. <laughs> and I am ready to fire this thing up for the first time. I'm gonna put some gas in it, and let's get this thing started. I'm putting gas in this thing for the first time. I'm gonna put some pump 93 in it. I'm gonna check for some leaks. It is time, people. Got some fuel on it. One step closer. Got a fire extinguisher nearby just in case. And she's green. My heart's beating really fast right now. All right, let me make sure I have my plumbing right for the street tank. Yep, got my return going the right way. All the sensors are plugged in. I don't have any water in here yet, but I just want to start it. Okay, my heart. Okay, here we go. <laughs> car freaking runs let's go it wouldn't hold idle but that's easy i probably just need to uh, reposition the idle a little bit higher i'm um, looking for any leaks got nothing here nothing here around these uh quick release fittings we freaking did it we're so close <sighs> all right let's check back here these fittings are good the wires aren't it's a little warm but nothing nothing i'm worried about under the car just a little bit of gear oil but we don't need that we're going that's easily replaced the car runs it's alive we did this okay so the street setup is good to go i still need to get the race set up but i'm just so stoked right now what a huge milestone i've reached i mean this car has been just an unreal project let's go now that I know the street tank and pump work and the car fires up, I'm gonna try the race pumps now. Last time I did this, had a big short and the wires melted. So this time what I'm doing is I put a 30 amp fuse in line from the 12 volt source and going to run the good pump that I know is solid and I haven't taken it apart. So the first step is to put some fuel in it. And what I'm gonna do is I don't wanna contaminate my E85 tank, or my race tank. So I'm going to hook up the supply line from the E85 tank and push some fuel into my street tank and keep the return going to the back of the car and run it for a few seconds just to push all the, the pump gas through and the E85 all the way through the lines. And then I'm gonna hook up the returns so just so I don't have any cross contamination of my of my uh, race tank. So what I'm going to do first is put some fuel in it. I'm all wired up now and that should be it. And then I'll turn it on, make sure that we're not melting again. And uh, if it's right, then I'm going to remove the the pump that fried and install the new pump that I have and wire that one. So once I have that done, the only thing left to do is mount the radiator, fill it up with water up front and in the back, and then the car's done. I mean, it, it's ready to go. So, okay, let's do this. Okay, I spilled everywhere, but I also have a big leak coming from the tank that I fried. So I'm gonna get this, cause I never tighten this fitting, of course. And now I need to let this fuel dry or wipe it down. Just little mistakes, you know? And I really don't want this to catch on fire when I'm the only one here, so. Gotta wipe her down, let it dry, and then I'll get this thing fired up. Always have spillage, dang it. 
so I never tightened this fitting because I knew it was going to have to replace this pump. So when I started filling up the tank under here, I started leaking fuel. And then for these fittings, I'm going to hook up my my main line to the fuel rails from the street or from the race tank, and then I'm going to leave the return on and push some E85 through because I don't mind contaminating the street tank, but I do mind contaminating my race fuel. So in order to do that, I'm going to leave the return unhooked, run the pump for a few seconds as long as everything is good and the wires aren't melting. Then I'll hook it up, start the car, and see how everything looks. I heard some noises I didn't like. I came up here and there was fuel squirting out of where these leads are that burnt up. So I'm just gonna take this whole pump out of here. I have one to replace it. I clearly didn't put it back together right. Otherwise I wouldn't be having this issue. It seems like this pump is running fine, but I wanna get this one hooked up correctly as well so that when we go to test the car, everything's good to go. This wire feels a little warm as well, which I don't like. But if it was warm, it should be uh, popping the fuse if we have some kind of short. Like I said, I think I'm gonna take all this wiring out from the pumps back that fried and just redo it because it's better safe than sorry. All right, guys, I didn't record an outro, but here's Spicy Spence doing a donut and some burnouts. I hope you guys like this content. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. There's gonna be a ton to come. We're leaving on race week in less than a week and the car is up and running. There's gonna be a lot more content coming at you guys. I hope you're as excited as I am. I'm really loving doing this and recording the process. I'm having so much fun and I hope you guys are enjoying it. So come tag along for the ride because it's gonna be a wild one.